nationwide just wants your hide. That's fair. And your Jekyll. No, 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 okay, not fair, not fair. They're taking your Jekyll. I need the Jekyll. They're taking your hide. They They're taking me. everything that makes you up inside. What's up, you creamy clams? This is the Dickie Dine Show. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, yes. Today we are looking at what would you choose? What is one thing you would choose to change about your best friend ever mm -hmm. in the entire world? Probably my clammy hands. Well, you know, the clams and the creams, sometimes they just happen. You know, you gotta take the good with the bad, for better or for worse. Mm, the good with the clams. For dry or for wet. Thank God you don't have a shellfish allergy. Oh, you suck! First one. Jimmy Urshel says, uh, to be Shell, able- because it's like the clams. <laughs> Jimmy Urshel says, to be able to play guitar or any instrument. When we jam, it's always me on the instruments and him just singing. Is he good though? Like, is he a good singer? Because sometimes good singers are harder to find than a guitar player. They're That's usually true. actually very harder to find than a good guitar player. Right. I just thought that this felt appropriate to our scenario. <laughs> 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 Yeah, um, but you know, I mean, give me, I can down on the dance y'all right? all day with you. He can smoke on your water all day long. <laughs> At least for like five seconds. <laughs> Jeff Boomhauer says he won't stop falling for fucking pyramid schemes. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I, I know think, people like that. I was that. gonna say, I think we know a few people. We know people like, like that. that. That's always like such a bummer. Cause it's just like, how? They're, yeah, like they're so convinced that you can't be like, what are you doing, Yeah, like man? why do you not see that this yeah. is not right? Once they hit that point where they have the box and they're like, all right, here, yeah. like, buy the product. You're like, oh man. But like money without having to work though. <laughs> I'm like, that's not a thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can't just do that. But that like Mr. Jungungu said so, so. <laughs> right. How do you not understand that there's 50,000 people working under him and you're one of them? Right, exactly. Tom Carroll says, I'd like his penis to be a bit smaller. Oh. oh. <laughs> I was very... I mean, it's like, oh. all, right, Tom, all right, Tom, a little oh. penis envy. I, I mean, maybe, or maybe he's doing things with him with his penis that are uncomfortable because it's too big, like bit, slapping though. him in his face or something. Like. Yeah, he's like, dude, if he, he just has too much reach on me. Like, if he yeah, was like right. a couple centimeters shy, I could fucking, I could duck right. the, the, the hook. It's like, it's like fighting Ike with Kirby. It's just like, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Giant Can't get cock him. over the head. Can't get him. Ash Tutton says, to make his farts less deadly, like seriously, it smells like a zombie skunk crawled up his ass, died, then reanimated. Wait, a zombie died? And the, a zombie damn. skunk crawled and, up his and ass, then, then died, then reanimated. So it's a double reanimated. Damn. It's a double reanimated zombie skunk. Jesus, clean your what? ass. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, what's his diet like? You know what, he's probably eating a lot of fast food. Because I, I worked with, uh, you've met Noah. Yeah. yeah, I used to work with him at this old window factory and he used to just, eat fast food like almost all the time when he was like, you know, younger. And then he went on this diet where he never ate it. And then every now and then, every blue moon, he'd eat it. And I would know because the <laughs> shop would smell like the inside of a rat that's been <laughs> stuffed with food and forgotten about. It would, it would smell like a zombie it's, skunk. Yeah, it smelled, that's a good description. It's like that smell where you're just like, oh, like something's wrong. Like the universe is collapsing. Three animated hamburgers, yeah, just, what the fuck? This is a stench of death before you French die. French fries coming back to kill me. <laughs> We used, he used to call it Ronald's Revenge. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> he had it specified because he'd eat at McDonald's <laughs> and he'd call it that. So I'd just look around the shop and be like, where the fuck is it? You ate McDonald's, didn't you? And he'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Kyle Ridman says, he says wrestling instead of wrestling. Well, I mean, some people are from the South. That's okay. If that's your only complaint, that's a probably pretty good yeah. person. <laughs> Unless he literally just will not stop talking about like wrestling. Favorite thing. <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, watching that wrestling the other night. Do you watch that wrestling? <laughs> Every other word is normal. It's just right. wrestling has the heavy jaw. Exactly. It's like, hey, man, I was just thinking about watching some wrestling. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Could you stop doing that? <laughs> stop doing whatever. Stop doing wrestling. The John Cena theme plays at that word alone. <laughs> right? Wrestling. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing that? <laughs> Please stop. That's the only thing I'd ever want to change about you. That's it. <laughs> Joseph Smith says I would make him not be an absolute weeb slash furry. That a way I don't have to hear about anime fox traps all day long. <laughs> well, I mean, you pick your best friends, man. And that seems like a... a <laughs> That seems like maybe a deal breaker for me. I don't know. I, I often think about, 
you know, because it's hard to like perceive people's thoughts outside of your own, you know? Mm -hmm. So like thinking about crews of other people, just like, I've never would have thought that that would be an inconvenience <laughs> yeah, to somebody, right. like, ever. Like, yeah. He won't shut up about anime fox traps. Like, yeah. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> anime fox traps. Yep. He won't stop talking about it. It's a furry thing, It's obviously. like the fact that he will not stop talking about right. it, and I've never even heard of it. Right. He's <laughs> like, this is my mission. This is my day-long dream. Zach Sam says I would give him a full head of hair. He's been balding since seventh grade. What a good good is friend. This, is this your account? Is this Zach <laughs> Sam's? <laughs> Come on, Zach Sam's. Are you Zach <laughs> Sam's? Are you trying to tell me something uh, else? <laughs> oh, it's Zesty Sam's actually. Damn. Yeah, I figured. And what a good that's a friend though. He's been He's balding like, since I would give him a full head of hair. Yeah, well you can like a, you can. You can give him about ten grand, <laughs> send him down to Bosley and get the fucking implants. Get the little ant leg implants. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to do back the little, in the day. They put like ten thousand little hair follicles and then grows back or something yeah. like that. Not like I've looked. Dude, since seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much it costs or like a good location. <laughs> uh -oh. Dakota Platt says his fucking feet. It's like you stuck a dead possum in a boot and microwaved it for three days. Microwaved for three days. <laughs> That's the real Ronald's revenge right there. <laughs> Can Jesus. a microwave run for three days? I think after three days it would just probably smell like completely sanitized. <laughs> it it reverses. Burnt to oblivion. <laughs> I don't imagine how it could not just disintegrate after but three days. Would you say it's burnt? Beyond the blue. I'll oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad feet though. I can see. Like, I understand. Like, n like normally, like, well, that's kind of like a foot smell. But when it's like, yo, right. like, yeah. when like they've got the same, like, same pair of shoes and they like jump in puddles. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Take their shoe off and you're just like, oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's calling yeah. me. I had shoes <laughs> that that all my friends would just uh, universally call them my smellies. <laughs> I did. They, they were water shoes. Remember water shoes? Oh yeah. Yeah, I had water shoes, and I would wear them everywhere. Why? And I don't know. <laughs> They're and I, and not I, comfortable. I would wear them everywhere, and I would never wear socks with them. And they literally, Damn. they would smell like yeah, a dead opossum. They're just bad. Did you ever use them for water? No. <laughs> it's just no. no the, they when, were basically when I jumped Puma, Puma, exactly. What you were wearing. I always wore actual shoes jumping <laughs> in the lake. Okay, that's, that's pretty smart. That's, that's how it worked. <laughs> Anthony Kapaki says for them to read this comment on their live YouTube show. Well, it's well, not live, so yeah, you're we don't have a live YouTube show, you fucking yeah. Idiot. So it looks like you can't change that about us. Wow, maybe you should start your own YouTube show and be more relevant, so you don't have to ask other YouTubers. Shout you out. Sorry, Chelsea Rebel Talbot says her bangs. She is way too pretty for straight across bangs. Tell her. Yeah. Just tell her. Just be like, yo, let's hold her down. Just grab her <laughs> and take and her just peel take her bangs off. Peel her bangs off. Scalp her so she'll never grow bangs off. again. Right. And then burn her forehead so they can't <laughs> grow back. Jesus. No, don't do that. Don't do that. She's way too pretty for that. Yeah, she's way too pretty for for burning her forehead. What if you made them like asymmetrical bangs? Is that What if you just did help? the Dwight Schrute thing and he just parted, parted it? her bangs? <laughs> exactly. What if she just had bangs? You wow. Cut the rest off. So I've seen thin. that picture. Yeah, I think it's the dude from Little Big. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen <laughs> pictures of guys with that fucking little. It's like a, it's, yeah, so it's like a mustache, but for your head. Or it's basically. like the people that have just this tiniest little tail oh, yeah. on the back. It's like, what is that? Who's that? That for? thing upsets me it's more. Like, who's than that for? Or like the yeah, the one where they have like all their hair rooted to like the ponytail and then yeah. everything else is bald. I'm like, what are you? Yeah. What are you doing now? Who are you fooling? <laughs> who's that? You for? are not a horse. You will never be a horse. <laughs> Andy Rubio says I would make them Jewish since they already look like they are, and then the clowning will begin. <laughs> so you just want to make fun of your friend because he looks Jewish and you just want to make him <laughs> what he looks like. I like to, like, how is that any different from what you're already doing? Right, <laughs> like, exactly. Other than now it's offensive to him. Yeah. <laughs> like, and right, now it's real. Yeah, right now you're Now it's you're actually good. a thing, yeah. <laughs> now it's just, right now it's yeah. just jokes, but it's about to be I just real. want my jokes to be more hurtful and sting him. More. Yeah, I just, I just, I hate him. I call him a Jew all the time. I want a new like, best friend is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> See, hi! <laughs> Subtly, just <laughs> well, I would want my friend to be a Jew. No specific reason, just to you know, give them jokes and whatnot. No, I do not plan on gassing him. Just want to make fun of him. Hudson Essex says, I'd make her understand the true comedy that is the Dicky Dine Show. Thank Aww. you, you are doing God's work. Thank you, Hudson. We need more heroes like you in the yeah. world today. And his name's got Essex in it, which and is it's a got really sex good restaurant. In it. Whoa, dude, Essex. It's like electronic sex. Dude, he's got a, his. Dude, VR porn. <laughs> Same, uh, porn online. 
<laughs> come in, uh, in like a computer tray and <laughs> uploading it to your girlfriend. <laughs> if she has a good sense of humor, she'll like it. Damn roasted. Ah. Yeah, guilt her into liking it. You just try to make it like, man, if you were smarter, you'd probably laugh at this show. I get it, it's fine, it's not for everybody. It's very meta. <laughs> it's pretty it's meta. It's very meta. See, it's a joke on their lives, but as not a joke. Exactly, try to but, make them think that we're smart. We're yeah, not. exactly. So they, they laugh at everything that isn't funny, and then she'll be like, <laughs> You see what it is, they're very sad, but they act happy. To be fair, the Dickie Dine show, to be understood, you have to have a very high IQ. Gabe Hovind says, make him not at me in every McDonald's meme he sees. Eat shit, Jeff Gilbert said. Okay, McDonald's has come up three separate times, and that's not on purpose. Like, I McDonald's really... is ruining friendships, apparently. <laughs> like, because... Dude, that is true. Every time it's been brought up, it's been in a negative context. Yeah, exactly. McDonald's, What's going please. on here? Well, Ron... McDonald's was founded on... That's Ronald's the real trails. revenge. <laughs> That's the final. That's the final form yeah. of Ronald's revenge. Ronald's revenge is when we're all in the ground. He's like, he's, you're he gonna walks sit on me when I'm on a bench, you fucking asshole, and make me look like the idiot. No, I'll ruin your friendship. Mm. Ronald is one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Juan Hubert says, "I wouldn't change a thing because my best friend is who he is, not someone I want him to be." Respect. Oh. Respect. Oh. Throw some cum on it. I mean, respect. So you. So some. Yeah, respect on your friend. <laughs> Very, very, I almost said poultry. I meant to say <laughs> wholesome, and I was gonna very say poultry. Very of you. poultry of you. That was a very foul thing to say. Brett Bateman says he's way too fucking short. He's like 5'7", and everyone else in the band or other groups is over six feet. You know, that's just mean. He can't control that. Well, that's why he's trying to be nice. He wants him to be, join us. He's trying to help his short friend up. He never said he's trying to be nice. He's he just said he's way too fucking short. Yeah, well, isn't that the thing? Like, don't most short people want to be tall? And it's like the, you know, the grass is always greener scenario. So he's probably trying to help. And he's like, hey, man, yeah, be tall as us. And you realize it's not, it's not that tight. Maybe. Tight. But then, like, you see when, like, the tall guys are flipping their guitars around, it's just going to go right over his head. And it's not going to hit him. <laughs> It'll save him. That three inches will exactly. save him. Exactly. It's gonna, it's or hitting everybody five. else and, and not him. So it could be a good thing. Yeah, he's going to get his wish and he's going to grow the extra five inches and then he's going to die from, like, yeah. a five inch difference. Right, like, exactly. Like, he's yeah. like, oh my God. Uh, Dom Weta says, I take his foreskin for my own. Is it, is it an impressive for, like, why? Is it impressive? When you say for your own, do you mean like you're gonna fuse it to yourself and just make That's like, what I was like wondering. a dog cone for your car? Exactly, is it like adding on to yours or are you just gonna like keep it in a jar and just stare at it before you go to bed? Maybe the ultimate uh, goal here is to become like the reptile that kills Newman in Jurassic Park. The, the, his dick flares out. <laughs> that, that would, that would. <laughs> so but, but, like, but like why, so that, I'm assuming you've seen it and like why is it, so impressive. I, I want to know. Like, what, maybe. Oh, maybe he's. Trying I want to wanna nice. see its foreskin. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> maybe it's a good. Maybe he's trying to be nice. Maybe he has way too much foreskin. He's like, I'm just trying to take his foreskin. Like, yeah. He's got too for much. for my own. I'm hungry. He has a five skin. I'm, it's I'm, far I'm, too much. I want I want French fried foreskins. <laughs> Mario Mossetti says his mom because she's fucking hot. Hey, you know, I mean, dude, it's hot moms. I feel it, man. There's porn for that. All my friends kept trying to fuck my mom when I was younger. So. Really? Yeah. Are you sure she wasn't the opposite? I was both. <laughs> It was definitely a mutual thing. It was a mutual wanting to fuck. Yeah. Come on, what would you change Stacey's about me? Stacy's huh? mom has got- Change me right now, Jared. My diaper is soiled. <laughs> <laughs> I'd make you not so fucking good at Smash Bros so I can win every fucking goddamn well, time we play. At, at least at least win one. You win. Round. You win rounds. For you, I would take away your clammy hands. Thank you so How about much. That? Look at this. You know, my dad actually got a surgery for his hands, being that same exact thing. You can have a surgery mm -hmm. for this shit? Yeah. On your, can, does it work for your head and your feet too? I, have the <laughs> I same don't know about there. that. But I know the hands thing, they just, they cut out like a, God. like a gland, like, thing. I don't know. Wait, they take it, away my ability to shoot webs like Spider-Man? Basically, yeah. Wow, that's a big Then they give it to somebody pay. else. <laughs> to give them, do they also give them my sweaty glands? Yeah. See, that's you just haven't it's, tapped into your power it's yet. It's a new Spider Man, and he goes to web shoot, and his sweat comes out. It cuts to a doctor, he's like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> this put, is mildly inconvenient. Oh, wait, I put, uh -oh. I put sweat This in isn't Peter doing Parker. anything to fucking criminals. <laughs> he just runs up to a guy and is like, he's like, oh, what's that sweat? Dude, fuck, gross. <laughs> you fucking clammy? <laughs> Turns into clam man. Oh, God. Look at you right now. What do I fucking can't stand about you? <laughs> My uh, waking you up in the morning like a rooster by yelling, Kit! 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 
I went from zero to how I am now. I mean, you think you can get to a body like this from just fucking sitting around all day, kids? Go yes. to McDonald's. Yes, get the please. French fried foreskin. Uh, uh, the chicken McNugger. If, uh, if go to buy two chicken McNugger for two two twenty five each. One McNugget, two Big Mac. No, no, very. Don't get all your worse. friendships will be over. Oh, good. Uh, Jared, any closing thoughts? Um, Eat McDonald's. You go to McDonald's. <laughs> This video is sponsored by McDonald's. It's not. But that'd be sick if it was. Can we get in trouble for saying that it's sponsored by well, McDonald's? Well, yeah, if we actually like made them believe it We're was. We're publicly endorsed by McDonald's. I wouldn't mind. They'd probably pay us like a hundred grand. Well, yeah, of course. McDonald's is huge. I don't think anyone would mind being sponsored by McDonald's. It's like, I fucking hate I mean, that. if I had to eat McDonald's, I would well, mind. Because yeah. I'm not going to eat McDonald's. Yeah, it's pretty gross. But I'd rather eat cardboard. Yeah. That's not, not a thing I want. Because at least we eat And then we wouldn't be friends anymore because we'd both be farting really bad. And we'd probably be dead. And then we'd probably be dead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Stay away. Skin out of our DMs, McDonald's. Yeah, you French D fried uh, fork. Drake meme. Mm-mm. No, thank you. Mm-mm. Pass on this one. See you later. Mm-mm.